could use apostate Christianity to get to power, but his plan was actually to turn against the Christians and to remove them, which again fits in with the Revelation picture where you have the Antichrist who uses the woman rides the beast, he uses false religion to get to power, but in the end he turns against it to destroy it. But also there's always, in anything which is demonic, a hatred of the Jews. It goes through everything, whether it's far left or far right politics, Islam, or also sadly one has to say nominal Christianity. And one of the biggest shames, of course, in all of this is the part which Christianity has played in history in uh, anti-Semitism. When talking to a Jewish man, he said, how can I believe in your Jesus when Hitler and the Christians killed half of my family? Well, it wasn't the born-again Christians. It wasn't the true Christians. But we have to say that false Christianity throughout history has uh, demonized the Jews and has turned people against the Jewish people in a way which was totally out of line with what Christianity teaches. Uh, <clears throat> a man called John Chrysostom, one of the founders of the church, one of the church founders back in the fourth century. He said, the Jews are the most worthless of all men. They're lecherous, greedy, and rapacious. They're perfidious murderers of Christ. The Jews are the odious assassins of Christ. And for killing God, there is no expiation possible, no indulgence or pardon. Christians may never cease vengeance, and the Jews must live in servitude forever. God always hated the Jews. It's incumbent upon Christians to hate the Jews. He was considered a saint by the early church. Can you imagine that such statements could come from someone who really loved Jesus and loved the word of God? And yet we have to recognize that that is there in Christian history. It's a gross perversion of Christianity to say that uh, the Jews are assassins of God. Uh, Jewish people played their part in the crucifixion of Jesus, uh, did the Romans. But we are all responsible for the death of Jesus.